This is one of my favourites. This is up at Highway 101. I took a new photo of this today. And um, I've, this is, if anyone, has anyone here got a spare um, 10,000 bucks? Because if you have, um, give it to me. I'll be good with it. I won't, ch I won't take any myself because all I wanted to do was just um, go and knock on this farmer's door and um, I wanted to go and build him a little dam right in that. See where, that, see where it's green? Mm -hmm. Yeah? And see how there's erosion there? Yeah. What generally causes erosion? Water. Hmm. Okay. Um, so it would be a natural place to put a little storage in there. I could build one in there. I'll, I'll build it. I'll get on the bulldozer and I'll build it to make it cheaper. And um, we could go and um, build a, you know, about a five or five or ten acre foot pond there, and um, we'd be able to catch, put some little wings in it, which catch the water off the landscape, like some gutters, and draw that water that's otherwise falling off this slope. Jeez, scary things, um, and uh, bring it into this pond, and then I'd put a I'd put a pipe at the bottom of the pond, and then I'd let that water out, and instead of this is the crazy thing. Farmer going out of business because he's got no feed and he's importing feed from Nevada or from bake, you know, Bakersfield or some bloody stupid place and, um, and at very high cost. I was talking to a farmer yesterday, he's paying $16 per small bale. And I looked at his, I said, so how much he used to spend? He spent 40,000 bucks. And he's, hay, he, he's an organic farmer, right? organic farmer and he's imported the hay from Nevada because according to USDA regulations he has to he has to feed them organic certified organic feed so there's all of this fossil energy built into this stuff and then there's also a feed bill right so it's not it's money now I with that with that little 5 or 10 acre foot dam there I could I could irrigate a good probably 20 acres out of that just by turning a tap on. And I wouldn't have listless, hungry cattle. I'd have, um, you know, knee-high bloody pasture. Yeah, in the, right now, when there's no water. So yeah, if you've got that 10 grand, just, um, just come up, I'll, PayPal is best for me. <laughs> <laughs> Although they, they take a little bit, don't they, PayPal? Yeah. So there's all of these sorts of positions in our landscape. Um, like that's another classic one there. You can just see it's, uh, why is that bloody well green there? I mean, it's uh, green because it's water, hello. And, um, and it's got some residence time there and we just have to build a little pond there which doesn't take up much too much space. And then we've got something there that we can then irrigate some pasture with later. Now, the good thing about it is too, if we irrigate pasture, then we radically increase the amount of carbon dioxide um, sequestered as well. So it's got, it's got some, you know, you've got some multiple benefits, what you would call synergies involved here. Yeah. So yeah. You'll know that's just, um, just north of, um, just south of Bilton. I stopped at it today. All of that valley now is just filled with hay and, and, um, and shit. Because that's where they, in that beautiful valley, they've just continued to feed, feed off this, um, this um, whole summer. So it's just a pollution zone. And no doubt all of these livestock from being fed there, shitting there, are probably all full of intestinal parasites in that constant cycle. And this, you know, that's the sort of stuff that goes on out there that is totally, totally... Um, unnecessary. Yeah. All right, these are some lovely scenes of key line properties with lots of water.